This week we've been working primarily on the intake and climb systems for the robot. Uh, we've had the code done for approximately three days. Uh, we've just been waiting to test it while some of the broken aspects have been fixed and improved. I've been working on primarily helping with the format, helping keep things orderly. If anybody has a question, I help with that. One of my main jobs has been, uh, in the past two weeks, has been working on the accelerometer code, taking raw acceleration values from the robot and transferring that to velocity and then position using kinematics equations and integration. The, going back to the accelerometer code, I have worked on teaching them the basics for some of the fundamental pieces of calculus, uh, some basics for kinematics and physics. So our goal was to finish up the 3D um, drawings of the robot, like finish the intake mechanism and the hook mechanism, just because like there's things that change like from the practice spot that we realized we need to edit and like, you know, fix. So then once we fixed those things, we also were working on drawings, like making drawings for all the parts that we can put on the robot, making the 2D drawings so that we have the blueprints with all the dimensions to give them mechanical so they can better make the robot. And so when they actually make the competition bot, they have like the exact measurements, so they know what to cut where. Yeah, we print off some of those and give them to them for the practice bot because some of the parts they needed them for, especially the hook, we print off a few of those drawings. We also were like, checking the cat and make sure we had all the holes that need to be where they need to be. Like, if there's a hole in the plate, does the bar it connects to, then also have that same hole so that the screw can go all the way through. If it didn't, then we would add those. If it did, then we go, okay, that's okay. And we basically just do a bunch of revision. We're also 3D printing a bunch of custom parts for the bot, like spacers, a lot of spacers, because stuff needs to be like proper distance so that it works properly. So this week we've been doing a lot and because I'm a freshman and I'm new to the team it's more like I've been kind of like shadowing other people but what I really like is that the seniors whenever I ask them a question they'll answer and I'll get to like help on the robot tightening fixing and so far we've been kind of like fixing the chassis. Um, there has been some struggles it's like when finding the right bolt size and sometimes we have to hacksaw them down and it's really annoying when we don't have all of them but otherwise we usually get around to it. I am pretty excited uh, just to see how the robot performs and kind of like working in the pit because I think that's pretty fun and you know just kind of getting that like adrenaline rush and being like okay what do I do I kind of find that exciting and I'd like to be exposed to that. This week we've been working on the competition bot and mainly on the competition board planning everything out and we've had problems this week on the practice bot where the compressor won't run at all and it took us a whole meeting to fix that. Upcoming, I'm really excited for the tournament and what everybody else has come up with and yeah, and I hope our robot will do good. The overall vibe of this team is just really cheerful, upbeat, and friendly. I like being around people on this team because they always have something fun to say and they're all really funny. That's, that's something I really learned. I've been able to make new friends and really become a solid part of the sub team and this team as a whole. But I feel like this week we've really gotten closer because over things like the robot maybe not connecting with certain components or some wires not being properly connected, we all shared the same struggles and we're able to bond over that. And I feel like that's something that really is really good.